There are many generic concepts or words that we come across while we study. Although these generic concepts and words are available in many textbooks, its true meaning is difficult to understand. So let us talk about certain words or terminologies that we find it difficult before we begin any other bigger concepts. In this video, we will be talking about gross and net. Gross, it means without any deductions and net, it means after necessary deductions. To understand them, let's take examples. Gross weight and net weight. Imagine you are to buy a box of apples. Now as a customer you pay by its weight 1 kg or 2 kg. It doesn't make sense if you buy apples directly by weight of a box. You buy by weighing apples only. Therefore, gross weight is the weight of apples plus weight of packaging material that is the box and it refers to the total weight. After deducting the weight of the materials or the box, only the weight of apples would remain and this is the net weight. So gross weight means without any deductions and net means after necessary deductions. Now it is important to note that both gross and net are equally important. Gross for the transporter as he will charge accordingly and net for the cons consumer or the customer as he will pay accordingly. Let us take another such example, gross salary and net salary. Imagine you work for ABC company. When you join or when you are interviewed, you ask for rupees 15,000 as salary. The company agreed. When you received your pay, you received 13,500. You are shocked. So you go ahead and ask your manager about it. Your manager explains, you ask for 15,000, we agree to pay 15,000 to you. But after necessary deductions of taxes, 13,500 is what you got as net salary. But what we paid you was a gross salary. Let's see it again in an example. Total salary before any deductions was 15,000. After deducting the various taxes, let's take it as 1500, approximately 10%. So 1500, oh sorry, 15,000 minus 1500 would give you the remaining part of the salary, also called in hand salary or a net salary, which was 13,500. We just saw two very different examples of the concepts of gross and net. I hope you understand it now and Gross and net are not only important in terms of study, but also in real life. Always remember to ask for net salary and not the gross salary. This video was brought to you by Synergy Study Point Pune. For more such videos, stay tuned. And for more information, you can always visit our website www.upscmantra.com or you can like us on Facebook www.facebook.com dot com slash synergy study point or synergy s point and also our youtube channel synergy study point thank you